What's up designers, today we're diving into a question every UI UX designer has probably asked themselves. Figma or Adobe XD? Which one should you be using? Should you learn both? Or is there a clear winner? And if you're a one person design and development team, is either really necessary? In this video, we'll break down the pros and cons of both tools, looking at their features, pricing, platforms, and more. So by the end, you'll know which tool suits your workflow best, whether you're a beginner or a design pro. First up, let's talk basics. Figma and Adobe XD are both powerful design tools, but they're built with different strengths. Figma is a web-based platform, which means it's compatible across Windows, Mac OS, and even Linux. Basically, anywhere you have a browser. It's known for its real-time collaboration, making it ideal for team-based projects or freelance work that needs quick feedback. Adobe XD, on the other hand, is part of the Adobe Creative Cloud suite. It's perfect for designers already in the Adobe ecosystem because it integrates easily with tools like Photoshop and Illustrator. XD's got some unique advanced features like 3D transforms and auto animate, which are great for high fidelity prototyping. Anyways, this just scratches the surface. Each tool has a lot more to offer, but we will get into that soon enough. But before that, which one do you think has the edge so far? Figma or Adobe XD? Let me know in the comments down below. Now let's talk numbers, because we all know that pricing is important when picking a tool. Figma has a free option, which is great if you're just getting started. The paid version starts at $15 per month, but even the free plan covers a lot of ground, especially for individuals or smaller projects. Adobe XD is a bit pricier. You can only get it through Adobe Creative Cloud, starting at $59.99 a month if you're on the annual contract, or $89.99 a month if you go month to month. It's more expensive, but if you're already paying for other Adobe tools, it's a no-brainer. Next up, let's talk platform accessibility, because no matter how good a tool is, it's useless if it doesn't work on your devices. As mentioned earlier, Figma is web-based, so it works on pretty much any device with a browser. It also has desktop apps for Windows and Mac OS, plus mobile apps for viewing designs on iOS and Android. Adobe XD is a desktop software, compatible with Windows and Mac OS. Like Figma, it has mobile apps for viewing designs, but it requires Windows 10 or later, so it's not ideal for older systems. Now let's dive into how these tools handle designing and prototyping, because at the end of the day, these features are at the core of any UI UX tool. In Figma, design happens in frames, which works similarly to artboards and other tools but offer some unique flexibility. You can have multiple frames on a single canvas, each with different sizes, which is great for projects that require multiple screen sizes or layouts. Figma also has a standout feature called Auto Layout, which makes creating responsive designs a breeze. This feature automatically adjusts your layout when you resize frames, saving time and helping maintain consistency. Adobe XD organizes design work on art boards, with preset sizes for common devices making it easy to start projects for specific screens. XD also has a unique repeat grid feature, which lets you quickly duplicate elements like list or galleries, making it ideal for repetitive layouts. And when it comes to prototyping, XD offers some advanced features like auto anime and 3D transforms, giving you the ability to create high fidelity interactive mockups that feel dynamic and realistic. In a nutshell, Figma's auto layout stands out for responsive design while XD's repeat grid and animation tools are perfect for those who need advanced prototyping features. Both tools are solid choices for design work, but they each cater to slightly different needs. Now, when it comes to vector editing, both Figma and Adobe XD bring solid tools to the table, but no surprise here, each has its own set of strengths. Figma's standout feature is its vector networks, which allow for more intricate and flexible shapes. You can manipulate any point along a vector path, giving you precise control and freedom when working on complex illustrations or detailed icons. This unique capability makes Figma especially powerful for custom illustrations and creative design elements. Adobe XD's vector editing tools are strong as well, particularly when combined with the Adobe ecosystem. If you're already working with Illustrator, XD's integration allows for a smoother workflow. You can easily import complex illustrations or icons, saving time and keeping all your design elements in sync. Now let's talk about layout grids and constraints, which are key for creating designs that stay consistent and well aligned across different screens. In Figma, you have access to three types of layout grids, grid, columns, and rows, giving you plenty of flexibility to structure your designs. You can apply these grids to any frame and customize them to fit your needs. Figma also lets you set constraints on elements, so they'll automatically adjust when the frame's dimensions change. Perfect for creating responsive layouts that work on various screen sizes. 
Adobe XD brings similar functionality with its responsive resize feature, which automatically adapts elements within an artboard as it's resized. XD's layout grid allows you to set up either a square or column grid to keep everything aligned. Responsive Resize does a great job of maintaining spacing and proportions as you adjust, making it quick to create designs that fit multiple devices without much manual tweaking. Typography plays a major role in design, and both Figma and Adobe XD bring solid tools to the table for managing text styles. Figma allows you to save text properties like font, size, line height, and more as text styles. This lets you apply consistent styles across your design, and if you need to make an update to a text style, it automatically applies everywhere it's used. This is a huge time saver for keeping your typography cohesive throughout your project. Adobe XD has a similar feature with character styles, allowing you to save and apply text properties across your design. If you're a Creative Cloud subscriber, you can also access Adobe's fonts directly in XD, giving you a wide range of typefaces to choose from without needing to import them separately. To sum it up, both tools offer strong typography management, but Adobe XD's integration with Adobe Fonts adds convenience if you're part of the Creative Cloud ecosystem. Plugins and extensions can significantly expand what each tool can do, and both Figma and Adobe XD offer plenty of options. Figma has a vast library of plugins that cover almost any design need you can imagine, from generating placeholder content to creating complex animations. You can even develop custom plugins using JavaScript, so the possibilities are nearly endless for tailoring Figma to your workflow. Adobe XD also supports a growing library of plugins, offering capabilities like content generation, accessibility checks, and much more. While XD's plugin library isn't as extensive as Figma's, it still covers most essential functions. You can also create custom plugins in XD, but it does require knowledge of XD's API and JavaScript. By the way, have you ever created a custom plugin? If not, is there a plugin that you wish existed? Let me know down below. Lastly, let's talk about the design handoff, a crucial step for a smooth transition from design to development. Both tools offer solid solutions to make this process seamless. Figma makes handoffs easy by providing a shareable link to the design file. Developers can inspect elements, view CSS, Swift, or Android code snippets, and download assets directly from the file. This keeps everyone aligned and ensures that the most up-to-date version is always accessible. Adobe XD also supports handoffs by allowing designers to share a link to design specs, where developers can inspect elements, copy CSS, and download assets. However, XD doesn't offer Swift or Android code snippets, which would be limiting if you're designing for mobile platforms. So which would you choose, Figma or Adobe XD? If you're already invested in the Adobe ecosystem or need advanced prototyping features, Adobe XD could be your best fit. But if you're looking for affordability, real-time collaboration, and platform flexibility, Figma is tough to beat. For beginners or freelancers, Figma is an easy choice thanks to its intuitive interface and accessible pricing. But ultimately, it all comes down to your specific needs and preferences. That said, if you're ready to dive into Figma and master UI UX design, be sure to check out Zero to Mastery's complete UI UX product design bootcamp course. It's got everything you need to get started and learn how to get hired as a professional designer. If this breakdown helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe for more design content. And also, feel free to let us know which tool you prefer and why in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.